Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Dominic food adventure just for you. I'm in the cloudy, cold town of Alliston, Ontario, Canada, and I am at Stacked Pancake and Breakfast House. We've been to one of these before. Uh, this time I looked at their website and looked at their menu and they have three festive breakfasts that just scream Merry Christmas. So Merry Christmas to you guys. Happy New Year. Let's go in there, grab those two items and a large coffee, of course. Come back here and enjoy them with you. Let's go. How are you? Good, how are you? I'd like to get two things to go. Two things to go? Yes, please. The, uh, the vanilla apple pie French toast and the gingerbread waffle and a large coffee, please. Would you like cream milk and sugar on the side? Oh, uh, no thanks. Just, black? just black coffee, yeah. And I don't need any cutlery. Just maybe napkins and syrup would be great. And did you want whipped cream on the side? Yes, please. Give me a minute and I'll punch it. Thank you. Uh, Ken. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks. You too. Woohoo! We are back in the car. Ladies and gentlemen, let's just hold this coffee for a second. Oh, it's cold. It's like minus seven degrees with the wind chill here in Ontario, Canada. Let's get the trusty steering wheel tray, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa! Let's get the trusty steering wheel tray, ladies and gentlemen, and start eating, shall we? Let's get that really nice placemat, napkin. Oh my goodness, they had three things on the menu. I felt that I could probably only do two, and I picked the two that I think would be my favorite two, and they are for a limited time only. So if you have a stacked near you, Get over there. This isn't gonna be a review as much as it's gonna be an experience because all their food is good here at Stacked. Let's see, oh, the cinnamon, the sweetness and the cinnamon smells that I'm getting from this. Well, that's just part of that. Okay, let's put that down. I do not wanna drop anything, of course. Oh, I'm sure it looked like I was going to go, but the lid was just coming up as my arm lifted. And I thought I was losing it. I thought I was losing it. And she gave me this huge bag of goodness. Let's keep that bag open to put all the garbage. And this bag is sticky. Ooh la la. We've got one, two syrups, three syrups, four syrups that were stuck together. Really nice napkins, those are the heavy duty kind, which you need when you're doing this kind of thing. And a bucket of whipped cream. Nothing screams goodness like a bucket of whipped cream with your breakfast. Well, that'll wake you up. All right, let's open this all up and then we'll go on for a close up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, check out this beautiful Christmas breakfast here from Stacked Pancakes and Breakfast House. Over here, we got that steaming hot coffee. Over here, we've got that vanilla French toast, or what's it? vanilla apple pie French toast. We got that syrup over there. Over here, We've got the gingerbread waffles and a bucket of whipped cream that we're gonna smother on a few things here and there. Doesn't that look amazing, guys? Wow. I knew it was gonna look good when I saw the picture. I didn't know it was gonna look that good. Holy smokes. 
Oh, I, I just I just keep staring at it because it just looks so good. All right, let's start eating. We got out our fork and knife. I'm going to do a quick sip of this coffee, get the taste buds going. Wow, that is good coffee. Um, I, I, I really want to put <laughs> the whipped cream on. Everything is so messy. Everything's it's just such, such a big meal. I like to have eaten in there. They only could uh, have about 54 people in there today because of the restrictions here in Ontario, unfortunately. Watch this, guys. Watch this. Unbelievable shot of goodness. Putting this syrupy, sugary syrup all over our sugar-coated french toast and waffles this is insane this is like totally i'm just gonna put a line down the middle because i don't think we're gonna have to add too much syrup this is already probably as sweet as can be just dump that out get every single drop uh, i'm gonna also take a dollop and we'll throw it right there and we'll throw it right there and we'll throw it right there and another scoop there okay one more one more is this is this not making you guys hungry or what man holy smokes Woo! Oh, i'm just gonna move this one last syrup out of my way okay oh i'm gonna move the coffee out of my way too so i can make a little bit more room Oh boy, here we go. Merry Christmas to you and to me. My stomach is getting its Christmas. All oh, the, the uh, waffles are just fall apart waffles. Super moist, fresh, fresh. Oh, I get, yeah, dude, cut that in half. That is ridiculous. That is redunculous. All right, here we go. Gingerbread waffle. Mmm, the icing they put on there, along with that whipped cream, you're really getting that gingerbread flavors. And the sprinkles are a nice touch of color. That is fantastic. Wow. Eating a Christmas breakfast in my stealth camping camper van. Oh, this is the first review since I've got her fixed, got him fixed. So all the little repairs and things I needed to do this vehicle are 100% done now. Hopefully there's nothing else that we can do. Okay, going in for the Vanilla apple pie French toast. Check that out. Nicely cooked. Not bad. The, uh, the apples. Nice and sweet. Boy, I want to get another big piece of that. You almost have to eat quickly because you don't want it to slowly start leaking through this paper. The French toast is good. But the waffles, I believe, are twice as good. As the the French again the French toast is good I like it but this um, these waffles are like freaking me out they're that good I'm gonna open up another one because that first one got all the syrup I tried to divvy them up because they're but they're waffle upon waffle I'm gonna have to uh, somehow get it everywhere because it tasted great with that syrup on there okay. 
I'm so glad that I drink coffee black now because when I eat something sweet like this, the coffee helps just take that sweetness away. <laughs> These things are just falling apart. Mmm. Yeah. If I was to choose one of these two, for my taste buds, the waffles over the French toast. But again, the French toast is good. I should have started with the French toast. It's such a flavor difference. I'm not sure exactly. Whenever I usually have French toast, I don't usually put fruit on it. I just like it with uh, just syrup mainly, syrup and whipped butter, and maybe a little bit of whipped cream and cinnamon. Because a French toast by itself is great. But there's something, something's up with the, uh, when they're mixed together with fruit. Again, that's just a, a preference for me. Uh, you might love this to death. Like I said, very good, way better. And as you guys know, I'm a, I'm a waffle kind of guy. Uh, every time I go down to the States, visiting somebody or traveling for work or whatever, if I see a waffle house, I stop. Gotta have a waffle. I think the last time I had Waffle House is when with JP. When I visited JP and Julia from Healthy Junk Food. And that was the last time I had waffles from the Waffle House. Mmm. love the fact that they made them with ginger or gingerbread flavors to it because that is dynamite man wow just dynamite merry christmas to my stomach yep black coffee really helps so let us know in the comments below what is your favorite christmas breakfast if you want to go on to your dinner part two, you're more than welcome to leave comments about your dinner. But as for a bre uh, Christmas breakfast, these waffles, gingerbread waffles are definitely a number one. And as for me, my favorite breakfast is Eggs Benedict. Uh, I just love getting up in the morning. Uh, we usually I start off with a coffee. I start with a coffee. And uh, then we usually do those um, cinnamon buns that you buy from uh, Pillsbury Doughboy guy. And uh, we usually get those cinnamon buns. Usually snack on those. I have my coffee. We open up all the presents. And then we make Eggs Benedict. And it's one of my favorite breakfasts. So let us know in the comments below what your favorite breakfast is and or dinner. It's up to you, man. And if you're unsure, check out Stacked, and I bet you'll love this too. What a great Christmas treat right there. That frosting that they put on there, and then you get that little crunch of the sprinkles, is just phenomenal, man. Just phenomenal. I don't think I can finish all of this, um, but I'm definitely gonna finish these waffles. And if you wanna hang out with me and watch me finish off the waffles, you are more than welcome. All right, guys, I am loving these gingerbread waffles from Stacked so much. I'm going to have to give it a one o'clock in the morning shout out bite to all you lovely men and women out there who love to watch my videos at one o'clock in the morning, even on Christmas. We don't know why you do, but you do. This next beautiful bite is just for you. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Mm. It's going to be a happy new year. Oh, yeah. Four more bites. Aw. Mom. Is there a Christmas gift you got in your past as a child that just resonates in your head every single year? 
uh, one of my favorite gifts my mom and dad gave me is uh, I remember coming downstairs and there was a huge box. I thought it was a TV. Back in the day, TVs were made out of those big wooden boxes. And uh, that's what it looked like. It looked like a big TV. But I started opening it up and it was a big box with a bunch of smaller presents inside. And every single one of them was like a die cast metal uh, jet plane and uh, trucks and just amazing cars. And I love die cast metal toys. Uh, I ha always have, I always will. I even have a Lamborghini in my in my office still. And uh, not from them, but it was it's just a Lamborghini that I have. Uh, but I loved die cast toys as a kid. And that was one of my favorite presents my mom and dad ever gave me. Um, I'll never forget that mom and dad, thank you. Let's keep eating. Sorry about that, guys. I got a little choked up. Memories. All done. All right, guys. We are all done here at Stacked Pancake and Breakfast House. I really, really enjoyed that. The uh, waffles, the gingerbread waffles, are definitely on my rating scale. A go out and get it now. Plus, they were phenomenal. They rank right up there with Eggs Benedict. And in the future, uh, Christmas is to come, I possibly might be dropping by stacked to get those waffles once again. I just wanna take this opportunity to thank you guys for an amazing 2021 year. I uh, had a lot of fun. We did a lot of really cool things, a lot of food adventures bought this camper van, did a lot of 24 hour adventures. We're gonna continue doing those into the next year. Uh, definitely gonna be doing some really cold stuff uh, into the spring and then get back into summer. And we'll see how long Rusty sticks around with us and uh, we'll just keep uh, repairing it when it needs to be repaired. I'd like to thank all my viewers and subscribers for commenting, liking, and sharing all these videos I've made for you this year. And of course my channel members, you guys are amazing supporters as well. And thank Thanks to my supporters over on Patreon. You guys are amazing. All right, guys, if you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're still hungry for more, check out that amazing playlist I dumped down over there, and we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.